Archery season starts this weekend in West Virginia and Ohio. And with the nationwide ammunition shortage, 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas went to a local archery shop to see if it's having any impact on the sport. Local archery shop owners say they're as busy as ever, even with more online sales. But the answer for the rush is not what you may think. At HP Archery in Belpre, they're hitting the bullseye this season with sales. I would say we've seen our business probably triple this year. Larry Jr. says the archery shop near the border of Ohio and West Virginia brings in customers from both states. And in the last six months, he says they're coming in looking for everything from new bows, arrows, and services. I've probably restrained 80 bows this year between crossbows and vertical bows. Um, and we take care of the traditional people as well. So what brings them in this year? Is it the ammunition shortage? No, I've got plenty of that. Mark Miller has been a bow hunter for 30 years. He says he prefers getting up close to the animals and hunting them while they're less pressured as opposed to during gun season. Ohio has got some really good quality whitetail and um, West Virginia is actually getting more and more, you know, pretty good deer. Larry Jr.'s father, the owner of HP Archery, says the wet year has led to some enticing pictures of bucks and white-tailed deer on trail cameras. Then there's also this. You know, I think people are just ready to get out and do something this year. They've been cooped up all last year. You know, we're, we're kind of post-COVID um, right now, and people are just ready to get outdoors and do something. And archery season in West Virginia and Ohio starts September 25th. Kentucky's archery season began on the 4th. For 13 News, Larissa Casillas, working for you.